So that's where sports brings people together, right? You, you know, whether right. you whether you whether you're a Democrat, a Republican, a psychopath, you can all agree that uh, the Vikings are largely garbage, right? We can oh, all agree on I love the simple yeah. things in life. Is, I, is there such a thing, Phil, as like a moral defeat instead of a moral <laughs> victory? Because that's what this Vikings win felt yeah. like. We watched yeah. the Bears march up and down the field, and a backup quarterback who's so good that I forgot his name three hours after the game through two of the worst lame duck passes and still managed to get them in within scoring. To okay. So that's, there's so many, Oh my gosh, there's so many things off this game. The bears. So the bears starting quarterback, Justin Fields is very questionable. Like they're trying to figure out, is he an NFL starting quarterback? We're not sure. And then he gets hurt halfway through the game and the bears backup quarterback is an undrafted rookie who played Division Two college football last year. Oh my year. God! What a <laughs> you know? Shot. People make fun of like, uh, oh man, Andy Dalton's a you know backup quarterback. Like, there's a bunch of professional backup quarterbacks in the league. The Bears literally brought in a Division Two undrafted rookie free agent, <laughs> and he was marching at the end of that game, just like a dart <laughs> over here. And uh, and the Bears were like I think thirty yards away from taking the lead and maybe winning this game. Yep. And yep. then because he's a Division two quarterback, not to pile on him too much, he drops back to pass. A wind gust must have hits inside uh, <laughs> you know, Soldier Field, and he throws like an end over end pass twenty yards short of the target, and the Vikings intercept it to win the game. But yep. like to that point, we had someone come on our so we do Vikings vent line on the the Purple Daily YouTube channel after every game and. A fan came on, and we probably had like 20 different fans come on, but this one guy comes on, and he says, you know what? This game was awful for everybody. If you're a Vikings fan rooting for them to get a big win, get back right. on track, right? Yep. You feel dirty after that win. If you're, a, <laughs> if you're a Vikings fan that just wants them to lose a bunch of games to get a higher draft pick, you feel dirty because they won the game. Like, like everyone needs a shower after that game yesterday. 